I found Omar's body on the overpass. Raheem must have gotten away, at least I hope so. I told them to hide in the train yard so there's a chance he's still alive. in less than five minutes. Oh shit, kid, you're bleeding. Huh? Oh, I, I cut myself. It, it's nothing. Fuck, just, just plant the bombs. All right, don't move. You got it? I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> Raheem, can you hear me? Where the fuck am I going with these things? There's a sewer entrance here in the terminal, near the west wall. Use that tunnel. It'll take you straight to the hive. Okay, I'm back on the surface. See that big ass culvert over to your right? Head through it. Once you get into the building, head up the ramp and get up to the floor above. You need, you need to put the bomb on one of the big support columns. First one set. Okay. Pay attention. Find some stairs and get to the next floor up. You're looking for another column, like the first one. All right, got it.
Naveen, can you hear me? Where the fuck am I going with these things? There's a sewer entrance here in the terminal, near the west wall. Use that tunnel. It'll take you straight to the hive. Okay, I'm back on the surface. See that big ass corner over to your right? Head <clears throat> through it. Once you get into the building, head up the ramp and get up to the floor above. You need, you need to put the bomb on one of the big support columns. Raheem! It's me, kid. I did it! Ah, Raheem! I mean, you should have seen it. Oh, God. The whole damn building came down! Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 Raheem, stop! Raheem, it's me! It's me, kid, it's Crane! Oh, Jesus! Raheem, stop! So. Uh, uh, 
such a fucking bite wound. You goddamn stupid fucking kid! Oh god, Jade. Crane, do you copy? What's going on? Bracken. Raheem. Raheem is dead. Fuck. Get back here. And don't say a word to Jade. Not yet. Raheem's dead. He lied to me about that bite because he wanted me to blow up that fucking building. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna tell Jade. On my way. Hey, Crane, we've got a job for you. Crane, that dynamite of yours, I'm making it into an anti-personnel bomb. It'll mow down the infected like a harvester. I'm going to combine it with firecrackers and a load of shrapnel, but I'm missing a few things. Starting with a suitable casing. A battery from a truck would be perfect. There's this big truck on the overpass. Well, it's hanging over the edge of the overpass. But you're an athletic type, huh? You'll be fine.
If you still haven't made it to someplace safe, do it now. Got your battery, Kurt. Okay, so we've got the casing. Next, I'll need some metal scrap from the junkyard to use for shrapnel. After that, I need sugar and some cables. Try the shops or warehouses. Bring them back, and you'll get a bomb that'll blast a hundred infected at once. Sold. This should take care of the shrap sugar. Not these cables, all right? Mm, they'll do. All right, we've got everything. Give me some time. I'll let you know when I'm done. Thank you. That was close. Find them? Yeah, I did. Kareem's take on losing your leg was a bit different than yours. So, you talked to him. Edward was right. You do talk too much. You should leave the talking to people like me, and I'll leave the killing to people like you. However, Kareem was my bodyguard. He allowed me to get bitten, but I don't really blame him for that. Hey, he saved your life. By hacking off my leg? The morning I was bitten was the same day they began dropping suppressants. You understand? I told him the antisin drops would begin within hours. All they had to do was wait. Right. Instead, the bomb's ready. he listened to that idiot doctor. Okay, I'll see you there. Kareem held me down as the butcher chopped off my leg. Now he thinks I should fly him out of here. Yeah, well, I told him that's not going to happen. You should have killed him. How about you leave the killing to people like me, huh? Quite right. I can get you out of here, Crane. Maybe I like it here. More likely you've made your own arrangements. Well, they won't work. You've been bitten. I can see it in your eyes. You'll never get past the NCOR quarantine. Past what? You see, you have no idea what's going on in the real world. Whoever you think you know, they're not political. And that's the only thing that's going to work now. You don't believe me? Then think of it as an ace up your sleeve. A backup plan. In case you haven't noticed, things don't always work out the way they're supposed to in this town. All right, if I'm interested, what happens next? Two things. The first is we need to paint some markers on the rooftop. There's no paint around here, so you'll have to go out and find some. And the second thing is... Well, let's just say you'll be leaving here in a better way than when you arrived. Now... Go find some paint. There's a construction site nearby. You should... You completed the first. Trust me, you're going to be very satisfied with the outcome. Here are your batteries. Better check them for bite marks. <laughs> well done. Well, no problems with the counting part of the mission? How much more do you need to do on this project of yours? None of your business. Goodbye.
You got a bomb for me? I've got the prototype. It's on the table, ready to be tested. There's a barricaded tunnel nearby. It's chock full of volatiles during the day, but at night it should be pretty clear. You won't find a better place to test a bomb. Okay, I'll try the tunnel and let you know how it went. One more thing. Remember about the firecrackers. The bomb will go off as soon as they're done popping. That's how much time you have to get the hell away. Good luck. in a special right now.
Kurt? I'm here, Craig. It's no good. It's not working. Not working? Huh. That's unexpected. All right. A little on-the-fly surgery should do the trick. First, open the casing by making an incision just below the negative terminal post. Peel back the casing along the incision line to reveal the trigger wiring harness. Now, check the solder on two green wires and the three red ones. I am betting it's the green wire. I was drinking when I did them, which I now realize was perhaps irresponsible of me.
did it. <sighs> it blew up the nest and the barricade. All right, the tunnel's now passable. Hey, I told you, my friend. If I build it, it's going to explode. Come see me, and I'll give you the blueprint. This is for you. I've also modified the case a bit. Cans instead of batteries. Smaller bang, but cans are easier to find and to carry. All right. Thanks, Kurt. What have you got? Someone must have turned the antenna on. We're picking up signals from all over town. One of them is from Hansen's group. Hansen used to run security at the tower, but he thought the building was too vulnerable. He wanted to move everyone to a new location. Of course, Brecken wouldn't have it. So him and some others up and left. We never heard from them after that, until today. You can hear for yourself. This is Seref. I'm with Hansen's group. There's been an accident, and we need help. I'm concerned who might be listening, so I can't be specific. Please, come quickly. It just repeats. Does Brecken know about this? He said until we actually talk to someone, he doesn't want to risk sending a runner out there. All right, maybe I'll go out and have a look. I'd appreciate it. Hansen ran a tight ship. I can't understand how things could have gone wrong with him in charge.
Jafar, it's Crane. I'm at the building. Listen, the entire outer structure is electrified. That's Hansen's trademark. He was the first to read the electric traps. He's got a real knack for us. Shut it off. Looks like he took a fall, and the fighters finished him off. He's been dead for a while. What about the others? I'll let you know when I find something. Wow. 
Jafar, I found the rest of his group. They're all dead. They killed themselves. Why? What the hell happened? It looks like Hansen switched on the security grid and then fell. The rest of his people got stranded on the roof with no way down. Looks like they eventually ran out of supplies and decided to... to cash out. They, they couldn't get into the building? Well, it seems Hansen had the only key. Guess he didn't trust anyone else. Yeah, it's too bad they trusted him. Thanks for going out there, Crane. Jafar out.
that stick and get here immediately. Was that simple enough? Yes, but you were holding down the talk button. And who told you you could use my radio? The same person who told you you could eat my sandwich. You were supposed to make lunch for both of us. Make your own lunch, you cliff notes intellectual. got a deal. For you, friend. I, I will kill you. Good to see you again, Mr... Uh, what's his name? Crane, like the mindless machine that lifts heavy things. Just tell me what you need and I'll be on my way. <sighs> duct tape. Uh, cables. We need ten rolls of duct tape. No, we need ten power cables. Duct tape. Cables! Duct tape. Cables! Duct tape! Look, I get it. You need both. Precisely. Precisely. And that concludes talking to you. Get going! Ten rolls of duct tape, ten cables. You've done well, Simeon. You are performing far beyond your capabilities. 
Of course, they say to improve your game, you should play with someone better than yourself. Clearly, contact with Tolga and I has significantly increased your intelligence. So, you are welcome. <sighs> One more task and we will be done. What do you need? There is a military base on the other side of the Collapse Bridge. You will zip line across to it. Using the borrowed intelligence we have imbued you with, you will find a military-grade mobile sonar unit. Bring it to us. Bring it to us. Mr. Dahl will want to see you as well, so please, use some deodorant and try not to drool on yourself so much. All right, get going. Watching you is painful. Is that moss growing on you again? Start moving. Maybe he'll move if we look away. General relativity states that all things are in motion, but somehow you are not. So, it's you again. Look, you can tell Rise that he can bite... Hey, what's that? Have you brought the herbs? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. No more food scavenging from now on. Well, I still can't figure you out. But, here's your prize. I think you deserved it. I heard the siren. Who was stupid enough? What's on your mind? Some advice. If you're going to be a runner, you should go talk to the witch. Hey, you mean the woman who claims the infected won't attack her? It was just after midnight when this old woman walks right up to the gate at the bazaar and asks to come in. And there were infected around? Yes, they were all over. But they didn't seem to notice her. She just walked right past them, calm as a cloud. I tell you, I couldn't believe it. You should talk to her. For the job you do, she could really help. Apparently somebody attacked Rice's outpost. Oh, you found binoculars. Great. They will come in handy for sure. Here's a reward. Not too much, but I can also show you a glass eye trick. Oh, not interested? Whatever.